five, four, three, two, one. Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you back to episode 16 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we made some dinosaurs blow up, and in this episode, we're gonna light some stuff on fire with our Deku Dick. Uh, but that's a sentence you don't hear every day, is it? So anyways, over here, there's this one lit torch, much like there was in the Goron City. And you want to take its fire and run over here to... Oh, that's not a torch, that's a pot. I can't, I'm sorry, I really can't see. It's really bad, actually. But it's not so bad that I won't be able to actually complete the room, I hope. So anyways, you want to take a fire and roll on over here to light this torch. And then you take the fire again, and you come over here and you light that torch. And, I, and then there's one more torch that you have to light with the fire. And I'm not sure if they actually go out. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if the torches go out if you leave them for too long. I don't think they do. Because I've taken a long time to do that, seriously. And they never ran out, so... I don't know. Anyways, so basically what, we just, what we've just done is made a big circle around to a ledge that was just like a foot above our heads. See? We were just down here not too long ago. And this ledge... In real life, you could just reach up and grab that ledge, probably. Or just jump up and grab that ledge. But Link's so tiny that he can't even reach that. Oh, poor Link. So he had to go around through all that crap through the exploding dinosaurs and the Deku Dick Cellar and stuff like that just to get to that one switch to unlock a door. Or better yet, he couldn't even just like throw an, a... Couldn't even just throw a bomb up there onto that switch to press it down. Because it stays pressed down even if you're not on it, so... Oh, dude, stop doing that. Yeah. It stays pressed down even if you're not on it, so all you have to do is throw a bomb up there and press it. I don't know, I guess real world logic just doesn't work in these games. Uh, you know, like lighting torches to open doors and stuff. I guess that could happen in real life if you made a mechanism to do it, but... I don't know, in this day and age, in Zelda day and age, I don't think that's really possible. So anyways, you come to this room and there's a whole crap ton of these bombs around here. And there's a, about the same on the other side. This is a very symmetrical room, if you will. So, what you actually want to do in this room first is not bother with any of those bombs. We're just going to ignore the most obvious thing that there is in this room. Yeah, and we're going to blow open that wall. Watch it go boom. Yay. And you can open this door. And you don't actually have to come in here, I don't think. But there's these statues here, and they're like much like the ones we pull, but if you try and get close to it and pull it... Oh my god, it came to life, and now it's attacking me. That's scary. I don't like it. But you can come around back here, open this, and I'm guessing that you can probably predict what's inside the chest due to the epic music and camera angle. It is the compass, just much like inside the Deku Tree and every other dungeon in this place. Holy crap, I'm only on t I only have two hearts left. I don't know if that's going to kill him. What the hell did I use that for? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's coming back. He's coming back. Save me, mommy. Save me. Save me. Oh, do I have to kill this guy? I think I do. Damn it. I don't know. Is the door unlocked? No, it's not. Oh, I do have to kill this guy. I really don't like killing this guy. It's just It's pretty pain. It's pretty pain in the ass-ish. Pain in the ass-ish. Okay, he came to life. Basically, what I do is just do that. And he walks right into the bomb because he's parallel. Ow! Don't do that. That's not fun. And there you go. Did he drop any hearts? No. That's unfortunate. Oh well. So, we come out here. And now we're actually going to focus on these many bombs in the middle here. So, this is one bomb over here. And what you actually have to do is uh, complete the symmetry, I guess you'd say by making both the sides blow up at the same time, just like that. I think I did it. Yes, I did. Oh, that was a lot of boom. So anyways, that makes the staircase lower. I don't know how, but whatever. I would have figured that that mean explosion just blowing up around there would have caused the staircase to crumble, but again, real worlds of physics don't fly. And these stairs are so big that Link has to climb up onto every single one of them. He can't just step up to them. No, he has to climb because he's a, he's just stubby little legs. And yeah. Uh, so there's one or two skull shells in here, I think. 
Uh, is there one right here? Oh no, I remember what the, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, there's a heart there, that's nice. And 20 rubies there, that's very nice. But yeah, there's two skulls in this room, I believe, maybe three. And we're gonna be coming back later for one of them. Like, we can't, we actually physically can't get it right now. So, yeah. Man, such little progress I made in like five or six minutes. So anyways, the, the other skull that we can get in here is not that one because it's, you cannot L target gold in this one. And that one's not gold, but it's that one. And this fight would have made a look, it might just look like some kind of random wall, but you can climb it. So yeah. Uh, anyways, you head in, we're gonna head into this, this room now, but before we do that, we're gonna switch out to the Highland Shield, because I remember this room very well. I remember that there's fire keys in here. Yep, just like that. And we're gonna kill them. Get over here. Oh, dude! I was targeting your sibling. There. You're dead. And where's the other one? Whoa, lag, lag, holy crap. There is a lot of lag going on right now. I can't see what I'm doing. That's not good. Can I complete the video with this much lag? Oh, sorry. If this is kind of it, you know, this is so much lag. It might actually screw up on the actual video itself. It doesn't usually, but okay. There we go. That's the last one killed. And it drops a heart. How very nice of it. That will repay. That will repay me for the heart that you stole from me. So, anyways, this room always confused me. I don't know why it just did because. As you can see, there's a locked door over here, and I thought you had to, like, there's these statues around here, and I thought you had to kill them all to unlock the door. But no, all you have to do to unlock the door is grab this one, which is a dead statue, I guess. Well, I guess all statues are technically dead, but it's an inanimate statue. Climb up the ladder, and press the switch, that's all you gotta do. That's all you have to do in this room. They kind of fool you, because you can go up to any of the other three, and they will come to life and start attacking you. See, ow, ow, hurt for the sake of demonstration. You better thank me, you guys. So anyways, now we're in the upper portion, or upper, upper sanctum of the main room here. So anyways, oh, this is hard to see. Can't, it's hard to see the bridge, but I'm gonna make it across. But anyways, oh uh, yeah, such a big gap. Oh my god, it's so hard to cross. Yeah, I can't really just jump over it. But now we enter this room. And, uh, oh, this room, okay. Kind of forgot, oh, we get another Navi tutorial this time. You never know what will be around the corner in these narrow paths, unless you just t tilt your head around the corner to look. But in this case, we can't do that because it's a video game. So you have to use Z targeting just like that to see that there's spiky things around the corner that will come at you and try to kill you. Oh my god. That, that didn't even make sense physically. It's like, it hits you from the side, and you get knocked forward or backward. Does that make sense to anybody? Really? Well, uh, you can actually pull out this block if I remember, and behind it, there will be a heart. Yay. But anyways, what you really want to do in this room, this room can be kind of tricky, but you want to climb on top of the block, you want to climb up the ladder, and you will come to a blow up the wall. So you want to turn around, actually, and you can see a bomb flower there. Which I just barely made because Link refused to jump. He kind of just fell. What is that about, Link? There's also a chest here. I believe it just contains 20 rupees or something. Yep, just 20 rupees. Why do 20 rupees look so different on the field from how they do in a chest? Like, really? In a chest, they're all glowy and stuff. Alright, you, you cannot actually make a bomb land on that ledge hard as you might try. Um, what you really have to do is wait out the explosion and time it out perfectly so the bomb explodes in midair right next to the door. So let's throw it. Oh, nice. Second try. Well, technically first try because that was... The first one was just an example of how you cannot hit that ledge. Well, let's change back to the Deku Shield. It'll be more practical and I don't think there's any fire keys right here. So in this room, you can see that there's a big fire in the middle that's blocking our path. What are we going to do about that? find out next time in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That, that's it for this episode, so thank you and good night. Oh wait, this, wait, 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 this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.